Hello and welcome to ESG Talk, your go-to source for insights and advice from leaders in environment, social, and governance. I'm your host, Mandy McReynolds. Today's episode highlights the findings of Workiva's second annual Global ESG Practitioner Survey. The survey takes pulse of over 900 worldwide to find out how those closest to ESG initiatives are managing the ESG reporting process, what new challenges they are facing, and how they're going to overcome them. We are also asked them about the value of ESG reporting to an organization. Over the last decade, the rise of ESG has been nothing short of remarkable, with increasing societal and investor pressures for businesses to prioritize sustainability, social responsibility, and governance. ESG practices have become a fundamental aspect of corporate strategy. Today, we're exploring four key themes that emerge from this survey. This is including insights that surprise me and what I think you as practitioners might find helpful as you navigate this work inside and outside your organizations. So let's begin. First, businesses worldwide are grappling with ESG complexity. How is that for you? Do you find it complex? I know I do some days and hope to simplify it for myself and all of you out there. Depending on where businesses are, we have to commit to ESG reporting as it is evolving and collecting various levels of information from management and disclosure for both financial and non-financial data with various sources requiring collaboration from multiple teams internally And I don't know about you, but for me, externally as well. So our survey revealed and illustrated that 70% of organizations are actively dedicating three or more teams to ESG reporting. Well, this makes sense to me because when I think about our own ESG practice, we have to work with internal audit, our financial reporting, our legal team, our side of operations. So it doesn't surprise me to see that as we align to the complexity of our organizations and we're reporting out the initiatives and efforts, it's going to take multiple teams to get this work done. The challenges that arise for global regulation, though, is interesting how this is impacting the work of these teams. 74% of businesses worldwide anticipate the need to comply with two or more global organizations, according to the survey. That's right. I think about our own work at Workiva. I have to think about the U.S. and the SEC, and then as we have global operations in Europe and APAC, watching the different standards of how they may impact our business, whether we are a member of a supply chain for organizations who comply to these global standards, or we have to submit to them ourselves. The good news is, is that companies are appointing at least one employee or more to oversee ESG reporting and initiatives. The survey found that 74% of respondents have a role dedicated to ESG. This is up 6%, 6% from our 2022 survey. That's remarkable. And as you think about your own work in your own organization, that may be the place that you start to invest is in your staff. All right, so that's key finding number one. Let's dive into the second key finding. This one really intrigued me. Out of all the survey results, I thought this one was fascinating. So nearly two-thirds, 62% of top executives strongly believe their company maintains equal rigor, equal rigor of ESG reporting as it does to financial reporting. However, this sentiment was not shared by the majority of manager-level employees, with only 32% expressing the same conviction. So that's quite the disconnect. This wasn't really interesting to me as we think about the gaps in organizations and how we need to close that gap. From our first survey, we found that ESG is an evolving practice. It has only been around for three years or more. So it doesn't surprise me when financial reporting has had the history for over 100 years for those working in the weeds on the reporting that they feel that disconnect. That said, I think it's also making sure that ambition meets action as well as transparency and accountability. And so those working on ESG, particularly all of you practitioners that I talk to out there, is we want to make sure that the reporting outcomes are also aligned to the accountability we hope to see. So the next thing that we found is practitioners overwhelmingly agree that ESG reporting is driving business value. 
Respondents from companies reporting for five years or more are likely to have generated cost savings, improved brand awareness, reputation, compared to companies that have been reporting for less than two years. So I would agree with that from my conversations around the globe with ESG practitioners. We know that there are some values, whether it's from RFPs or from cost savings from environmental mitigations or risk mitigations. Additionally, 90% surveys stated that in the next two years, having strong ESG reporting will give their company organization competitive advantage. We've also found that in our own practice, once you start reporting, you can see growth in investors or ESG-specific funds. So there are various ways that it can add value to your organization. I'm curious, as you're listening to this chat episode, what are the value drivers you're thinking about? And maybe you're preparing for double materiality. And if you're preparing for double materiality with global standards, I'm wondering what are you finding as the financial impact to your organization as well as the societal impact to drive competitive advantage. Lastly, we cannot have an ESG talk episode and a survey that does not talk about innovation and technology and things that can drive us forward. Technology is a key to unlocking value for ESG. We have reached a tipping point where companies see it as a key driver to a competitive advantage. Nearly 95% of the surveys respondents agreed that having adequate technology is critical to successfully managing the ESG reporting process. 97% agreed that access to technology and data will play an essential role in decision making for strategy. So I think the role of technology and innovation is a game changer. I think we have to dive into the right steps it takes to setting up the technology, the team, and the talent looking at those two combinations together. So those were the interesting findings that we had in our ESG survey. Thank you for joining us for another episode of ESG Talk, brought to you by Workiva, the world's only unified platform for financial reporting, ESG, audit, and risk. If you're interested in learning more about this report, join Workiva for an upcoming LinkedIn Live featuring Alex Edmonds, one of the world's foremost ESG leaders and professors of finance at London Business School. Alex helped Workiva and our research partner develop the survey questionnaire and final report. Registration details are in the show notes, and you can also find more information on Workiva's LinkedIn. In the meantime, if you enjoyed this episode, please rate and review us on Apple Podcasts and subscribe to see future episodes on Apple, Spotify, or YouTube. We'll talk again real soon. Music